Hi guys, no, just Henry here. Um, so for today's look, it's going to be a two-part look. The first one, we're gonna use my lovely model, Shelly, for both of the looks. Uh, the first look is going to be natural um, daytime look, and we are going to bump that up for the second video into a more dramatic nighttime bronzy look. So I hope you guys enjoy it. So I'm starting off with Brian Champagne's Hydroplex, which is a hyaluronic acid, which softens and hydrates the skin and preps you for your foundation. I'm applying the serum with a synthetic brush. Now for foundation, I'm using Alcee Micro Silk Foundation in Warm Ivory. I love this foundation because it dries to a matte finish and it's water resistant, so it's perfect for this summer weather. For foundation application, I'm a big fan of using a wet beauty blender versus brushes. Sometimes brushes tend to leave strokes for me, whereas the beauty blender blends the foundation effortlessly into the skin and leaves a flawless finish. Now for highlight and contour, I'm using the Pro Concealer from Owlay Girl. So now with the color Fawn, we're gonna do light strokes right underneath her cheekbone. Don't worry too much where you put it at because with a blending brush, we're gonna buff it out. With the excess product that is on the brush, I'm gonna take it and put it onto the hairline, buff it out. I do this to add dimension and it really warms up the overall look. With Fawn, I'm gonna go and add a little bit to the lids. I love this because it helps warm up the eyelid and I love using concealers as eyeshadow base. Now, because it's a darker color, I only put it on the lid. So make sure that when you're blending and buffing it out, that you don't go too high onto the brow bone because you still want to leave that lighter for the highlight. Now for concealer and highlight, we're going to be taking medium beige and applying light strokes underneath the eyes and then blending them out with a, or buffing them out with a blending brush like we did in our previous steps. With the excess product, we're going to go and add a little bit to the bridge of the nose and the forehead to really pop out those areas. Now with Hot Makeup Professionals Touch Me Up Press Powder and a medium sized brush, we're gonna take a small amount of product and set the concealer underneath the eyes. I love the Hot Makeup Touch Me Up Powder for three reasons. One, it's mineral based. Two, it doesn't settle in the lines when you set your concealer. And three, it's perfect for flash photography. With any peach tone blush, we're gonna apply this to the apples of the cheek with a fluffy brush. And this is just gonna help bring overall color to the look. Now we're gonna use the Anastasia Beverly Hills Pro Brow Palette. And with the flat brush, we're gonna put light strokes on the brows. We do this so that the brow looks fuller, but still natural. With an eyebrow spoolie, I'm gonna go and brush the brows. This is gonna give them better shape, dimension, and structure. So now with the flat brush and a highlight eyeshadow, we're going to apply a highlight right underneath the eyebrow. Now following on with more highlight, we're using the same color we used for the brow bone and we're adding it to the inner part of the eye and the tear ducts. This is really gonna help that eye pop out. With my Smith brush, I'm going to apply eyeshadow onto the lid of the eye. The color I chose to use is a very warm tone color so it doesn't overpower the overall look that I'm doing with the face. When doing matte eyeshadows on the lid, I like to start from the lid and work my way out and to blend continuously as I'm applying the eyeshadow so that it doesn't look splotchy at all. After I patted the matte eyeshadow down on with my Smith brush, I took a tapered fluffy brush and on the outer edges of that shadow, I'm buffing it into the brow bone so it has a smooth transition. Now with a dark brown coal eye pencil, I'm gonna take it on the lash line and I'm gonna smudge it into it. This is gonna add uh, depth and color to the eye. Then taking a pencil brush, I'm going to smudge the eye pencil. Now if you see this brush has a small dome and because of this, it makes it a lot more precise when you're smudging it out so it doesn't mess with the current eyeshadow that's already on the lid. Now with my favorite lip liner stripped down, and this is from MAC, um, I'm going to line the outer rim of the lip, and this is a very neutral, warm tone color. 
If you're ever doing lips on a client, as you can see, I gently place my finger to push her lip up. Doing so allows me to make a, a easier and smoother line. Also, I put a little bit of translucent powder on my fingers so it doesn't take away any of the foundation that's on the skin. So now I'm gonna add the lipstick. The lipstick I'm using is Hot Makeup's Fashion Fixation Lipstick in the shade Call Me. I'm applying it with a lip brush. I really like this because this is a hydrating and very pigmented lipstick. So not only is it gonna add color, but it's gonna keep the lips moisturized. For the lashes, we are gonna use Hot Makeup's Curly Kylie Mascara. I really like this mascara because it helps hold curls. Um, it almost is like a hairspray for the lashes. So once you curl them, it kind of keeps them nice and tight and in place. So we're starting from the inner part of the lash and moving our way outwards. To finish off the look, we wanna make sure we set it. Just like I, how I said that the mascara is like a hairspray for the lashes, while LA Girls Pro Setting Spray is like a hairspray for the face. I mist it all over her face and let it set. Do not tap it or play with it and it'll keep your makeup on all day. So this is the end of part one. Don't forget to check out part two where we're gonna take this look and we're gonna bump it up into more of a nighttime look, a little bit more dramatic. If you have any questions or comments, Please leave them below. Don't forget to subscribe. And until next time, bye you guys.